Hey y'all, welcome back to the bench. Today we're talking about another RadioMaster MT-12 setup. And today we're talking about four-wheel steering. Uh, if you don't know, uh, most crawlers are single steering, so the, just the front wheel steer. So a pretty simple setup. Uh, but it's a fairly common mod to add rear steering as well. So that allows you to uh, steer with just the front, steer with just the back, uh, do what's called crab, where you steer both tires in the same direction and the vehicle kind of moves like a crab. And then uh, I couldn't find any actually names on it, so I just called it mirror steering, where when you steer this way, the the back, if you think about the axles, it mirrors that and steers the same way, so you just get a really tight turning radius. So it's kind of a standard setup on most surface radios, uh, but it's not really set up on the Radio Master MT-12 currently. And because there's four different modes, you would kind of want to have a four position switch because if you do two two position switches, then you got to decide which one's in charge and it's really complicated. Uh, but if you want to have all four of those different steering modes, the only way that I know how to do it is to use the drive mode function built into the radio. The drive mode is originally from the aircraft world. So like on, on this radio, the RadioMaster TX-16S, these buttons control the six different modes um, by default. So, so let's say you have some sort of uh, airplane that you want to have a mode for taking off, you want to have a mode for uh, cruising, you want to have a mode for a flyby, you want to have a mode for landing, you want to have a mode for dropping stuff out the bomb bay, uh, you would set those up on these switches. And each one of those switches would change into a different flight mode, and each one of those flight modes can have uh, different trims and different settings and different uh, global variables that you can use to control all sorts of stuff. So that's kind of the basis of why f drive modes exist. So I'll give you a little demo of how I've got it set up now. So you can see I've got it in the front drive mode, so just the front steering works. Uh, you click the button. Trim center. Mirror steer. Now we have mirror steering where they go together. Rear steer. Now we have rear steering with just the rear works. Crab steer. Now we have crab steering where they go in opposite directions to give you that sideways move like a crab. Uh, because we don't have any sort of six button switch or four way switch or anything like that, I've had I use I set this up to control the drive modes based upon the trim value, which is a little I don't know, Edge TX guys might call it a little hokey, uh, but it's the best way I know of to do it currently. So, all right, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our model settings and we're going to change the trim step. And what the trim step is is it controls how much each click of the trim actually changes its value. When you can see we have these different uh, settings we can do here. We can do expo, extra fine, fine, medium, and coarse. Uh, I, with fine, uh, sometimes clicking it, it must be like one and a half because sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, and it's not, doesn't seem 100% repeatable. So when you move to coarse, I am, when you move to medium, it's three every time. So we can use that to our advantage knowing that when we are... When, knowing that when we, we come back to trim center, that it'll be zero, and every click up we do is going to be three more. So three, six, nine, um, and so on. So that's the first thing we need to do. Then we're going to go into the logical switches. And we're going to add these three logical switches. Um, there's a lot in this video, so I'm going to skip over to actually doing each one individually. Just copy it so it looks the same here. And we're going to say, when A is greater than X, this is active. And in this case, the A is trim 4, and the value it's greater than is 9. So you can see when I click this up. Now, this one's active because it's greater than 3. Now it's active because it's greater than 6. That one's active when it's greater than 9. So then we go back down, you can see it turns off, turns off, turns off, turns on, turns on, turns on. Now we're going to use these logical switch um, states back on the uh, drive mode screen to turn on and off those drive modes. 
And one thing to be aware of, see how all these are on right now? It's going to choose the lowest number drive mode that it is on. So that's why the that's why this goes 1, 2, 3, and this goes 10, 11, 12. If you did it the other way, um, it would activate in a way that you wouldn't expect. So that's one thing to watch out for here is that you want to have them uh, numbered up in the same way. And drive mode 0 is kind of the default one. When you when none of these are on, drive mode zero will be active. So you can see I've got them labeled here front, crab, rear, and mirror, and we can scroll through those as those logical switches turn on. All right, so how do we actually get these drive modes to impact the steering outputs? How we're gonna do that is with the global variables inside of these drive modes. Like I said, when, we, when we're going through and we're changing these um, drive modes, it is changing a bunch of stuff inside of the radio that we can then use. So if we go into drive mode zero, which I've got labeled as front, so that's front steering, uh, we're gonna make global variable one, 1024, and that is just the maximum value. That just means 100% in, in global variable talk. We're going to make global variable two zero. You just leave it zero because it's zero by default. And later on, what this is going to mean is that the front is normal steering, 100% left and right, and the rear is off. So we can go back and we can go into the next drive mode. Uh, let's do, just do rear. And you can see here we've got it set up to be global variables. Now the front is off and the rear is 100%. That's what we want when we're rear steering. Now, if we go back into mirror steer, this means that we want the front and the rear to both be at 100%. So, again, we've got it set up to be 100%, which is 1024 in global variable talk. And then finally, crab, which means the, the front is 100% and the rear is negative 100%. So if you wanted to, when you're setting these up, all you need to do is click on this, scroll all the way up to own. That means that this drive mode owns this variable when it's on. Click on here. And in this case, again, we want negative 100%. So again, a lot of stuff in this video, I'm just gonna go over what the settings are um, and you can copy them on your own radio. So e each one of the different drive modes, you wanna copy this like it is on the screen. Uh, to activate these different drive modes, you can see here this is logical switch 10, 11, 12. To add that, all you need to do is click in here where it says switch. You can click down and you can choose logical switch 10. So now that we have the drive mode set up and we have them changing global variables, we need to make those global variables impact the actual steering servos. The first step to doing that is to set up an input. So global variables... Um, for whatever reason, can't be added directly to the mix screen. You need to take the global variable, turn it into an input, then take that input and then put it onto the mix screen. Um, just just another one of those things of how Edge TX operates. So, so inside of the input screen, we can scroll down to a blank one. In this case, just because uh, this is global variable one, so I'm going to put it on 11 just so one is 11 and two is 12, just so I can keep it straight in my head. Uh, you can see I've already got them set up here, but all you need to do to set them up is click, click on it, go to edit. For source, we want global variable one, which is just in here is G1. If you need to get to it, you can long press, go down to GVARs, global variables, and then select one. We want it to add all these other settings. You can just leave as default. And we can we can go back, and I've just to make, get, keep these clear. I I put a name as F and R. You don't need to do that, uh, but just for my own clarity to remember that this is for the front, this is for the rear. Uh, same thing with this one. Now that what this is doing is it's saying okay, these global variables are now mapped to input eleven and twelve. So over here in the mixes screen, we can multiply those values for the for these two uh, ser steering servos. So I'll show you how to, I'll, I'll delete this one just so you can see me setting one up. 
Uh, but all you really need to do is copy what I've got here. So, so now we've got no rear steering at all. If we long press and we want to say the source for channel three is gonna be our steering wheel, so we can click and now it's on the steering wheel. Now it's just set up to be copied front to rear. Now we can long press insert after and we want to multiply the steering input by that global variable. So we can come down here to inputs and this was on the rear channel. So that's going to be input 12. And we don't want it to add, we want it to multiply. And it's simple as that. Now it's saying channel three is equal to steering multiplied by that global variable that is set up to be the rear. So if we go back to the main screen, we can see we're on drive mode front. We have just front. Now we're mirrored. Now we've got just rear. Now we've got crab. And that, that's kind of the four main four wheel steering modes that I know of. So hopefully this is helpful. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I know I went kind of fast on this one because uh, there's just a lot of settings to do. So hopefully that's helpful.